I woke up this morning and I came across some articles that crime was starting to explode. This is something I predicted months ago. And it's funny that crime is exploding. We're entering into a predator state versus a police state at the same time that the Rona is spiking. And also we have so many people who are on this defund the police departments, dismantle the police departments. People are so much in their feelings, they're up in their hearts that they don't realize how reckless and stupid that sounds. I'm here to tell you, I've had a few unpleasant run-ins with cops, but I remember the first time that I was in a bad situation, I called 911. And I want you to think what's going to happen if we defund these police departments and dismantle these to police departments. We would be overrun with a predator state. I want you to think about that. Everybody's like, oh yeah, yo, F the police, get rid of the police, all these police are bad apples. It's the, it's the corrupt blue line. You, 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 I, I'm just like, I lived in the hood. You have to understand that even though the Rona's running around, criminals are saying, yes, this is the opportunity. This is the time to go ham. They've closed the courts. The police are distracted. I can commit all types of crime. This is the, the predator. All right. First of all, I want you to understand that there are many people who are predisposed to criminal activity. They like it. They enjoy it. They're never going to go straight. They're never going to have a normal job. They're just not. And these people are career criminals. During the Rona, they released a bunch of criminals because of the confined spaces of being in jail. Guess what? 25% of them got rearrested within two weeks. They let them out to prevent them from getting the Rona. And what did they do when they went out? Hey, back to crime. See, I'm gonna tell you a story about me. I was a budding white collar, white collar crime criminal. And one of the things that I learned was things become habits. Things become, because you know, I did it a few times and I stopped doing it because these become habits. You, you watch an episode of American Greed or watch one of these criminal shows and you'll see that there are people like the guy who did the Fry Festival. He was on charges. He was out on bail and then he started creating another caper. See, once you get addicted to criminal activity, it's almost impossible for you to go straight. And right now, crime is zooming up. In multiple states, the murder rate has skyrocketed. Gang activity has skyrocketed because they're like, they're not gonna catch me. The police are distracted. So would you rather live in quote, a quasi police state or would you rather live in a predator state? And let me give you an example of what's gonna happen in a police state. We're gonna have unfortunate, bad outcomes like George Floyd. We're gonna have that. Or we're gonna have in a predator state, like the little girl that was killed over the 4th of July weekend here in Atlanta. Which one you wanna live in? Where a little girl is riding with her mother just down an avenue and she is killed because she's in the car with her mother because the predator state is having a fight. Which one, which one you want to be a part of? Now, both are bad, but which is worse? I'm here to tell you the predator state is going to be much, much worse. I remember I was living in the West End 
And I was just walking home. And these dudes were in an old Impala and they were smoking weed and they were talking all this stuff and they started talking to me and I ignored them because I didn't know who they were. And the music, I noticed that the music, instead of fading away, the music was getting louder because they were backing back up. I had no clue to what these guys were going to do, but something, I, I don't know if it was my grandmother's voice from heaven or whatever, something, 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 run. And I took off and I ran around the corner and I got up on the hill and I got, I got some distance between me and them. And they were roaming around the neighborhood searching for me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm serious, like, why would these strangers be looking? See, this this is what happens in the predator state. So you can have a quasi-police state or you can have a predator state. I personally would live, rather live in the quasi-police state than the predator state because what's going to happen is you're going to have civil unrest. You're going to have, you're going to have like gang warfare. I used to live in the West End. And like I said, this, this is where I saw this. And this is, this wasn't like, this was just in a small contained area and all this crap that went down. There was the Muslims and the drug dealers and they would have these meetings and they would talk about like the park because uh, where I used to live off of Lucille, a few blocks over was this park. And the Muslims had made a deal with the drug dealers that the park was off limits and they would stay out the park. And then the Muslims and the drug dealers will also get into it to the fight that they would be shooting guns at each other. I'm in the shower. First night in West End. Doo -doo. And I'm like, what the? Bullets. That's what happens when you live in a predator state. And once again, in just a few blocks, there was all kinds of nonsense, craziness, crime, drug dealing. I remember sitting on my porch and this chick who was whacked out on crack, because I could tell, because after living in a neighborhood, you know the look, you know what they look like. She's walking down the street with a gun, just bam, bam. All kinds of stuff, craziness. And, you know, to go back to the Wall Street Trapper video, the mentality when you live in the hood is dysfunctional, but you think it's normal because it's become your norm. And I got used to seeing crazy stuff like crackheads walking down the street. I'm in my room. Do, 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 do. Will. Do, 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 do. Will. Do, 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 do. Will. He don't live here no more. Do, do, do. What's your name is? I'm getting used to crackheads speaking to me because they're trying to solicit me. Just walk. Hey, how you doing, big man? What's going on, big man? You need some company tonight? So you get used to crackheads, you get used to seeing crackheads, you get used to seeing criminal activity, you get used to seeing criminals. So I was kind of living in a predator state when I lived in the West End. I'm here to tell you, I was never so glad in my life to leave a place. It was just dysfunction upon dysfunction upon dysfunction. And all these people like defund the police so we can get into this predator state. I lived in Sandy Springs for 11 going on 12 years now. I have not ever seen any of the craziness that I saw in the West End. I've not seen any of it. And this is what people are ushering to because we're going to throw, you know, like, first of all, I don't think that the governments are going to be stupid enough to dismantle all the police forces because we would be overrun with criminal activity. Look what happened during the run. Don't believe me. Just do some research. Go ahead and do a Google search on murder rates. You'll see the murder rate is dramatically up. The petty larceny rates dramatically up. Burglary rates dramatically up. Domestic violence way up. 
So in times of personal crisis, because I want you to talk about the social shifts during the global reset. There are many people, and I talked about this during you know, the, the great collapse that's about to happen if Congress doesn't act quickly. Many of those 32.9 people on unemployment, once they lose their benefits, many of these folks will move to criminal activity. And if there is not a strong, well-defined police force, the barrier to moving from being a, you know, a law by law by law by citizen to becoming a criminal is removed. There are many people who like, Hey, you know, the game is the game. I didn't choose thug life. Thug life chose me. A lot of people would be about that rah rah life. A lot of people you would, would be surprised. Like, look, give you perfect, perfect example. Porn, demon time, and OnlyFans. There is no limit to the number of women who will participate in these things. They're lined up to participate in porn movies. They're lined up to participate in OnlyFans. You want to know why? The social barriers, the social sanctions against that type of illicit activity are gone. So just like we found, like you're seeing girls in porn, you're like, why is this chick doing porn? Because she wants to. Because it's celebrated. There is no social sanctions or barriers against it. You got chicks who are doing porn now, like a chick, she'll be the prom queen this year and next year she's the porn, she's the, she's porn's hottest new star. I mean, so just like that whole barrier dissolved, this is what would happen if we got rid of the police. If, you know, like, like, don't worry, we're not going to get rid of the police because that would be asinine. I mean, fortunately, we have a lot of level headed, well intentioned, meaning people who are running the states, the governments, and they just know, whoa, 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 this, this would be bad. This would be very, very bad. But we got people marching, defund the police, defund the. Are you crazy, man? So you want to deal with a random bad cop here or there. You want to deal with a predator coming through your bedroom window. I'm telling you, as we go through 2020, the year of the murder hornet, it's, get, it's going to get worse. As the economy gets worse, crime is going to rise. Right now, we have one of the worst economies we've ever had in history, and crime is at an all time high. For many years, crime was going down. Now it's spiking up with the police. I want you to imagine if a lot of these communities just did something stupid like, well, we're gonna get rid of the police department and we're just gonna go out and get some civil activists and mental health workers to respond to these 911 calls. These mental health workers and civil rights activists would be shot. They would show up in certain cities. Oh, oh, shots fired. Oh, we have no police. We have no backup. Oh my goodness. We just out here. So be careful what you ask for. Ask yourself and put it in the comments. Do you want to be part of a police state? Or are you going to be part of a predator state? And I'm telling you, these predators like pimps are predators. They're nasty, they're foul. I mean, I want you to think about what it takes for a man to find some young, innocent girl, get her hooked on trugs, and have her turning tricks. This is why they got rid of the personal ad section of Craigslist. This is why they got rid of the back page escort section, because a lot of pimps we're going out and getting 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 year old girls, turning them into prostitutes because they got them hooked on some drugs. That's a predator. That's a predator. So you can live in a quasi police state 
which to in my opinion and also because of my social economic status it, it, it don't merely mess with police don't mess with me i just don't you know i just don't have bad interactions with them which is not something that you can navigate you can navigate that in the police state but you can't navigate that in the predator state if i was foolish enough to live in the west end at my income level let me tell you i already know what's gonna happen I had a friend who was a cardiac nurse. She made like good money. I mean, she was making six figures, but when six figures was like, whoa, that's a lot of money. She, she's been making long money for a long, long time. And she bought an older home in the West End. She renovated it and she recently got married. But during her time, and she stuck it out, she got to the point where she said, I'm not buying any more flat screen televisions. This woman's house was robbed 12 times. They would sit out and they could see, even though there are some people in the West End who are wealthy, who have good money, who live in these big, because there's a section of the West End that has nothing but these big, beautiful, bodacious houses the surrounding areas the hood so what the hood people do is watch these good hard-working people go to work and they get to know what their schedule are and once they're at work they go ahead and get their, they go ahead and dip in their house and steal their stuff so the predators this is a prime example of what would happen if i was stupid enough to live over there i would become a victim of the predators it's like, oh god he got all this camera equipment. He got all these computers. He's got these flat screens. Come up. This is what happens. I, I've had friends who lived over there and all of them had the same stories. They go to work, they go on vacation, they come back, house broken into. Stuff gone through. And when someone breaks into your house, you feel violated. You don't feel like your home is your sanctuary anymore. And this is what will happen in the predator state. So go ahead. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think about, because I knew I predicted this in the live streams. So I said this was coming. Crime's about to start spiking up and boy has it. And if the economy continues to deteriorate and the states continue to reclose, it's going to get worse. It's just going to get much, much worse. So, um, here we are. If you don't want to be a predator, go down below, get 30 days to 2,500, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. Watch this next video and I'll see you guys later.